Hello everybody, I am the Game Sam, and, and again, I should really stop impersonating other YouTubers. No, my name is Caleb, aka Kunklux999, and today is not really going to be a video game. More of another thing made by James Earl Cox III. The reason I didn't do, do it initially is because... Well, I don't know. Uh, it was another, It's another game made by game James Earl Cox III. Um, same developer as Three Blind Mice, a Remination Game for Improper Children, Ten Stories Up Elevator, and 433.exe. So, yeah. So, again, this isn't a game, but or a video game, I guess, but it's in my video games folder, so this is 2001, A Space Ma Masquerade. 2001 A Space Mac Worry, a big awkward social game by Bi Brian Pickens and James Earl Cox III, inspired by Wink No More and Martian Middle School Dance. Overview. The Intergalactic Conference is almost there, and you just realize that you will be only set <laughs> the only set in life form on your planet in attendance. Good thing there's a Space Mac Worry to, to help break the ice. Hope it doesn't get too awkward. Components. So this is like, so this is like, um, a thing where you can, like, dress up in certain costumes like these people are here. Um, components. Twelve alien masks. Deck of cards. Custom deck of thirteen cards. Use note cards. On one side, leave blank. On the other, draw these shapes. Three cards have a heart. One heart is just not outlined. One heart is half filled in. One heart is fully filled in. Repeat the process with squares, circles, and stars. One outline, one half full, one full. On the last card, draw an L or a frowny face. This is referred to the L card. Some sort of some sort of stand. Setup. This game is played in a twenty feet times twenty feet by twenty. And 20 by 20 feet in each square. This game can be played by 6 to 12 people. The closer to 12, the better. Place the stand in the center of the square. Search the deck for the L card and, play, and place face down on top of the stand. Shuffle the rest of the cards and give one card to each player face down. Players have these cards hidden from any, everyone else. There are three cards of each type of shape, which have three different fills. Players put on their alien masks and choose any place in the marked square to begin play. How to play. Every player must keep their card hidden from the other players. Index cards must be kept face down until they are required to be shown. The goal is to find all players holding an index card that has the same shape drawn on, on it as your own in the form of a chain. Players are not allowed to talk to each other nor communicate with the use of fingers. To inquire about the player's card, you may only use body language and offer them a handshake. The, a player who has offered a handshake must accept it. While shaking hands, players reveal their cards to each other, and only each other, and do the following. If the cards do not match in shape, the players quickly exchange cards and the play continues. If the players do match in shape, the players do re do not typo, do no release their handshake and are now a chain. What I love when you find typos in these in these documents. One player in the chain must then close their eyes. To decide who closes their eyes, prefer to the fill on the cards to determine who wins and loses. The loser closes their eyes and is blind. Half half fills beats empty. Full fills beats half full. The person who does not close their eyes must now lead the blind person while, you know, while searching for the last link to the chain. Chains. If a, pers if a person leading the chain offers a handshake to the player who whose card matches in, in shape, those players have won the game. The player leading the chain does not have to accept a handshake from another, another player. If a player leading a chain offers a handshake egg to a player whose cards does not match in shape, another typo, those players trade cards and the chain is now broken. The blinded player can then open their eyes but must walk to the stand, ignoring the hand all handshake offers, and switch out their card for whatever card is located there. The play then continues. If multiple players are headed to the stand at the same time, players trade their 
their card with the card on the stadium in the order which they arrive. The L card. The L card does not belong in a specific set. They should be gotten rid of immediately. Holding L puts, puts you in a position in which you are unable to win. Extra. Players may not communicate with earthly languages. They must use extraterrestrial language. The That stand sure looks nice for placing some snacks and some refreshments, huh? Music may enhance the experience as well, especially if it is alien music. The host may post a sheet of space treaties on the center table. When the team wins, they decide on a space treaty and then write it on, on the sheet. Space treaties. Universe peace, space for all, solve the mystery of the pyramids, love all the things, exclamation star, square, ha half black, half filled, half empty square, filled full square, Dear. Happy exclama double happy double exclamation points. Peace sign. Pluto is a planet. Free space. Circles for everyone. Breathe breathe elastic nasals? I don't know, I can't see what that says, but yeah, this actually actually I've never actually read this before and it looks kinda fun now that I think about it. Only problem is the fact that I don't have only problem is the fact that I don't have tw don't have six other people I can play with. That will at least want to play the game, cause you know I hate it when people do things they don't want to do. Maybe eventually I'll be, maybe eventually I'll be able to figure out a way to play this game with people. Um, or maybe I can like gather a bunch of YouTubers and like stuff like that. Or I can just find a way to do it all by myself. Maybe I could use my characters. No. Don't. Don't understand what I mean by that. I could use every character in Five Nights at Shays or the Caleb Clan or something. I don't know. I'm sorry it's so dark that you can't see the drawings. Anyways, that is the overview of 2001 The Space Masquerade. If you guys want me to actually play the game, I will. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to say you liked it. And as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Cloak Lux and the Nine Gaming. My rainbow loci is starting to come off.